what what's interesting about this what's interesting about the Memphis game it's going to be a home game for Houston I think obviously Kendrick Davis whether he plays or not it'll be a difference but say for for a moment in a perfect world that both teams were healthy and just focusing on the Houston perspective side of it do you think that Memphis a home loss to Memphis would be a considered a quote-unquote good loss for Houston in the event that were to happen had both teams, if both teams were to be healthy. I'm curious because it brought up from Chris, when you were talking about obviously Memphis needing the win from a Q1 standpoint for their resume as they try to get into the NCAA tournament. But for Houston's perspective, as they're trying to lock up a number one seed in the NCAA tournament, what's kind of the leeway there? I think it'd be a bad loss because it's a home loss and it'd be the third one, be Houston's third loss this season. You know, even if both teams are healthy and all those things, I think it would be a bad loss. And hmm. because three losses at home, it would just add to the speculation of some folks. But they, what, what's the problems at home? And yeah. I'm curious to see what – because Coach Sampson has touched on this in previous uh, sessions. Who's going to be in the ear of the players? You know, on the road, it's, it's them. It's the players and the coaching staff and the staff. It's them. But when they get – Back to Houston tomorrow or tonight, fans, some family. Hey, do you guys know if y'all beat Memphis on Sunday, there's a great chance you'll be number one in the, in the polls again? Do you realize that? So that pressure, this outside noise, as Coach Samson refers to it. So, you know, this is a win that Cougs need to get Sunday because it's a home game, Memphis' rival. If Kennedy doesn't play, all these other things, but bottom line, it's a home game. The Cougs need to win, period. I mean, I don't think it um, – I don't think – what do you say? Would it be a bad loss? I think would it, it be would be a bad loss if they lost to Memphis at home, even if they were healthy? Yeah, I think it would be just because they don't have any respect for the conference. I mean, that's just simply, simply put. They don't have respect for Memphis or any other team outside of Houston in the conference. I mean, they're the most respectable team on Houston's schedule left, and they got beat twice by Tulane, who doesn't get any respect. And so I think it would be a bad loss. Looking at the comments that are chimed in on the on the live stream on the Houston Round Bar Review, Parker Ainsworth, a uh, shout-out from Locked On Cook, said, I don't think UH can lose the home game and be a one seed in the NCAA tournament. And Jerry2968 said, no, it's a bad it's bad to lose at home no matter who you are playing against. And, Chris, I think that's a great point that you've brought up just in terms of Houston. They've already lost two road games in, in Temple and Alabama now. Uh, that Alabama loss, obviously considered a quad one loss. So I think that's why Alabama was. jumped Houston because they beat Houston at home. Oh, no doubt. They have the head to head advantage, no doubt. But what I, in, in terms of looking at it from a resume building standpoint for Houston and the NCAA tournaments, if they were to lose to Memphis, that would be considered a quad two loss because Memphis is currently in the 40s in, when it comes to the net rankings, which again, three losses at home that begin to poke holes in yeah. terms of Houston's resume, which would be the biggest question mark, which it is interesting with Houston's win over SMU tonight on the road. They're now 9-0 and in visiting crowds this season, which they, going back to resume building wins, they, they probably have the most impressive one when they went up to Virginia at the time. They were ranked number two in the nation. They beat the Cavaliers in their home court, but it's kind of interesting this time of the year. It's all about seeding. It's all about resume building. But, Chris, Dayan, I'll toss it over to you guys if you have anything else to add before we move on to our next topic. Well, I'm looking at it. Uh, yeah, because it'd be a home game, Memphis at 42, that would be a Q2. The road game would be a Q for the Cougs. But during the broadcast, Q1, Q1 excuse me, during the broadcast, the guys mentioned, because he didn't tweet it, so I guess he said it from his, his now bunker, ESPN's Joe Lenardi, <laughs> that uh, with Purdue's loss, and the Cougs win, the Cougs are now the second number one overall seed behind Alabama. And in that scenario, the Cougs would be playing in Kansas City because Alabama gets the first choice. That'd be Birmingham and Louisville for them. And the Cougs get the second, second choice, so they'd be going to Kansas City instead of Las Vegas or New York, potentially. So Anything like that, 
a home loss at Memphis. This home, really the Cougs because the conference is down touches on. I've harped on a lot in recent podcasts and appearances. They can't afford to lose in com- in conference play regular season. The, the perception of the outside world. Is Joel Nardi, I think, is the main bracketologist who believes in this team with the eye test as being yeah. number one overall seed. Other folks, they're plugging in Texas. They're plugging in UCLA. They're plugging in Arizona as one seeds. And I'm, so I just, okay, what are y'all looking at? <laughs> you know, but they win their, they, they finish out. What did that be? That'll be uh, 28 and two, something like that, whatever. If they win out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, so they have five games. They have five games left. Twenty nine currently. Yeah. Twenty nine and two. And two heading so, into the American Athletic postseason tournament. They'd have to do that. It would be like remember Wichita State that one year they were like thirty and one? Mm-hmm. They had to do that to be number to be a number one seed. They have to do that because of the, the lack of respect for um the Missouri Valley Conference. Same thing because of the Cougs are not in the Big Twelve. That's what you probably have to do to win out to maintain a one seed. It's, it's, it's tough not being in power five. <laughs> Man, it's brutal. I do want to bring up James. I was just going to bring up James Freeman's comment. I got to be honest. I really don't care. I just need us to be completely healthy going into the tournament. Uh, regardless of the seeding, it's a one, two, three seed. It doesn't matter. Dan, what were you going to say? I know, never mind. Go ahead. No, what I was just going to say on the topic, it's something that had been mentioned on the broadcast. I think regardless of seating, regardless of what whatever region Houston ends up being, I don't think any team in that region is going to want to have to play Houston, which is something that touched on a broadcast in t- terms of the physicality that, that Houston plays and brings to the table now. <laughs>